Namaste, beautiful sister. This is a part one of the practice that I am adding to a belly dance course. And this is a tantric practice, which is also helps us to connect with the blockages we might have on the energetic level, but also in our emotional body. We can, as we go through these practices, we can understand where the blockage is and we can also work on releasing it. So we can really connect with that life force, with the flow of energy, with that sensual energy, life-giving energy of the earth, allow it to go, to move through our entire body, through our yoni, into our womb, through our whole body and really connect with that sensual goddess that we are. So the part one is this one and we'll be just connecting with different chakras and using the dance techniques that you have already learned probably if you did the course. Um, so it's the, the more basic one so we can really just focus on the chakras because all of the movements they correspond with specific chakras, the vortex energies in our uh, energetic bodies. And we'll be connecting with uh, each chakra through the move and with the correct um, practice of the move, we can release the tension. And then the part two in the series, you'll see it right below this one, will be opening the inner flute. This is the specific tantric practice that connects uh, our yoni to the earth we're connecting with that central energy and moving it up from the lower triangle we're going to move it up all the way to the heart center through the throat centers where we shoot her into the ajna into the sahasrara multipatal lotus connecting connection to the divine and as we move it first of all that will help us to to become multi-orgasmic, so to move that energy from the lower centers of pleasure, which is also really good, but we want to start experiencing it on different, on different levels and really have a heart orgasm and bring that um, energy uh, into the highest centers. And we can also use it for our spiritual awakening and for, um, for healing, for rejuvenation of the body, of the mind, for creative energy. Okay, so, but this is part one. And what we are going to do here, we're going to start just with connection to the earth. So bring your feet cubits apart, spread the toes, soften your knees, relax your tailbone, and feel your yoni just facing straight down into the ground. Relax here. Gently activate the womb center, the deep abdominal. Soften and relax your solar plexus and heart center. Gently spread the shoulder blades, relax the shoulders. Elongate the neck. And let's do shimmy. You already know the technique for the shimmy. I'm just going to do a gentle reminder here. We're not doing this movement from the hips. We are using the ground. So we're bending, extending the knee as we're pushing feet into the floor. Again, relaxing the tailbone and we just allow the hips to go for the right. Good. Let me give you an um, explanation of each movement first, so then I can actually turn on the music and we can go chakra by chakra without talking. So the first chakra, we're doing the shimmy, grounded. The second chakra, we are going to do figure eights. We'll do some backwards and we'll do some forward. So this one will connect us with second chakra and water element the sensual and creative energy. If you feel like you need to go to come back to the technique a little longer, you can always watch that separate video. 
So now we're moving up to the third chakra and this one is really nice to connect by doing the body rolls from the top to the bottom. So we're softening from the heart into the solar plexus. So that's where you'll notice the most movement. We can do it side by side or side to side, I mean, and we also can do it reverse. So soften the knees, drop the tailbone. And we're gonna start from the bottom, up, drop, tilt, roll, boom, drop, roll, return. Good. Then we're going to connect with the heart center, chest area, and we'll do the chest shimmy. If you want to do it more with the shoulders, really for this purpose, not a problem. You can add any shoulder movements here too. But I will focus more on chest shimmy and a bit of up and down chest movement. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go into the head. We're gonna be sliding the chin side to side. And then just do the flamenca arms. Again, arms are extensions of heart center. And we can go into our aura, into the sahasrara. So we'll just finish with some more arm movements and we'll do freestyle, a bit of layering. So let's do it with the music. So start with bringing your feet hip width apart, spreading the toes, really connecting with the ground, feeling that sensual energy from the earth, moving from your feet into your legs, into your thighs, feeling you up with this life-giving force energy, moving into your yoni, moving into your lower belly, into your womb center. And let's start shimmy. Remember, we're not moving the hips forcefully. We're just using our feet, pushing into the ground, bending, extending the knees. Allowing that energy to come up and also we're shaking off the tension from the hips. Whatever, you know, blocks that are not serving us. Let them go. And now we're gonna move into second chakra water element, figure eight. Using a deep core, isolating the hips, switch direction. So we're scooping forward. Good, and let's do a twist.
Beautiful. Let's connect with the third chakra, Manipura. Body rolls. You can keep it pretty small and subtle or make it bigger, slow or fast. Take a moment here, take a deep inhale before we continue. Exhale, relax into forward fold, just let it go for a bit. Slowly rolling the uh, spine up. Let's connect with the heart center. Breathe deeply, allow your ribs expand in all directions, like a balloon within you, arms floating. Bring them in front about 45 degree. And let's move chest side to side. You can do it slowly or fast or very fast. We're really just gonna allow the boobs to go for a ride. <laughs> now let's take it up and down. Circles. Notice this is a chair circle, not the hips. Keep your hips stable. Switch direction. Ah, allow deep breath. Exhale with the sound when you need to exhale. Let's add the arms, flamenca arms. You can choose the pattern. I'm doing two circles up and down. And then two circles in front of the room. Now let's reach up. Really stretching the sides of the body. Neck. 
circle and inhale, reach up, freestyle. Beautiful. Take a moment here. Come back to your grounded posture. Feel the support from the earth. Feel that sensual energy moving up through your whole body, filling you up. Ah, and release the tension one more time. Great. So that can be a nice morning routine. It can be used separately from the practice that you'll see um, following this one. But it's a great preparation for the next practice as well. Because we just walk through all of the chakras. And in the next practice, we we'll learn how to move that sensual energy there. All right. I'll see you soon.